Hi, in this tutorial we're going to take our very simple basic form, add some more fields to make it into a contact form, and add some simple validation. Here's the form open in the form wizard. You can see it just has one name input at present. With that a second for the email, drag it up before the submit button, another for a subject, and we'll take a text area for the message itself and drag that up before the submit button too. So there we have all our inputs. At the moment you notice that most of them are called labeled text which isn't terribly helpful. We'll go and make some changes to all of them. We'll change the field name from the default to a more meaningful name. Here name. We already have the label. Save it. Close. Open the email. We'll put email in here, tab down, email, tab down, and add a label. Do the same with the subject. Doing this is really helpful later on when you need to be able to identify exactly which field is which, when they're all called input file so-and-so or input text 19 it's difficult to tell them apart. The last one here is the message box. And we'll label that message. Notice that for the moment all the inputs are still called label text. Now you can see that once we've saved the form the labels are changed so we can tell which input is which. Now we'll add some validation click the name, click the validation tab and just make that required. Click the email, validation tab, required and email. You need to be careful using the alpha on name fields because that can stop you putting spaces and quotes and dashes into names. And lastly we'll make the message required too. That's it. Save the form and we'll go and look at it. Refresh the page. There's our form. Name, email, subject, message, submit button. If we click Submit, you'll see the name field is marked as required. There's an error message. If we click Submit without putting the email in, we get a message saying not only is it required, it must be an email. We type in something that's not an email, the required message goes, but the email message is still there. We'll put an email in this time. Type something in the subject, type something in the message, this is my message, and submit. There you are. That's all done.